Hey guys and welcome to Shadow Gaming. So today we have the daily target of loot allocation for May 12th, 2020. I did want to start this off with light machine guns at Wall Street. This is not a good day to farm for the Bullet King. I know that Kamikaze Van Doom did a targeted loot video today on that, like a farm this today thing. It's wrong though. Um, I made the same mistake. Same with holsters at Stranded Tanker and Pathway Park or whatever. The targeted loot allocation does not work with the Warlords of New York exotics. So this is actually going to have a more chance to drop, say, the Pestilence. So if you do get an exotic to drop here, it's more likely to be something like the Pestilence instead of actually the Bullet King. So I would actually not farm for the Bullet King today. I would farm for it when it's not targeted loot for light machine guns. Anyway, guys. I'm just gonna follow throughout New York first and then the dark zones and then end it off with the list. We have Grupo Sumbra at Financial District and Golang Gear at Liberty Island. Assault Rifles at Battery Park and Petrol Defense Group at Pathway Park. This is not a bad place to farm for if you're looking for Petrol Defense Group and the Imperial Dynasty. I would farm there. Hanayu Corporation at Two Bridges. Seska SRO at Stranded Tanker. Richter and Kaiser at the Civic Center and Alp Summit Ornament at The Tombs. I actually would also farm here at Stranded Tinker for the Imperial Dynasty. You're likely to get either Contractor's Gloves farming for it here, or you're going to get the Seska SRO um, at Stranded Tinker. All right, let's move on to the Dark Zones in Washington, D.C. In D.C. West, we have knee pads. In D.C. South, we have gear sets. And in D.C. East, we have Douglas and Harding. So I would farm here for the Punch Drunk. I would farm here for Negotiator's Dilemma Chest and Backpack if anyone is missing it. And for knee pads, I can't think of a DC exclusive knee pad here. Oh wait, yeah, the Ninja Bike Messenger. So if you're looking for the Ninja Bike Messenger bag, this is a great day to farm for it. This is what I would farm for, not the Bullet King. All right, guys, we got some machine guns at the White House, 511 Tactical at DCD headquarters, Richter and Kaiser at Downtown East, and Finner's Group AB at Grand Washington Hotel, followed by Gloves at District Union Arena. I ran this today a few times on Legendary, and I did get Contractor's Gloves, so this is a good place to farm for it. Not on Legendary. Gear System Mods at Camp White Oak, Fender's Group again at Coney Island Ballpark, Wyvern Wear at Coney Island Amusement Park, and Providence Defense at Manning National Zoo. Overlord Ornaments in Judiciary Square, and Light Machine Guns at Federal Triangle. This is a good spot to farm for the Pestilence. It only has one control point, but you can keep resetting it. Wyvern Ware at Jefferson Trade Center and Marksman Rifles at Viewpoint Museum. This is a great place to farm for the Nemesis if you're still looking for it as well. Just remember you need the blueprint for it first. Assault Rifles at East Mall, Petrov Defense Group at American History Museum, Pistols at Capitol Building Stronghold, and Holsters at Air and Space Museum. The Claws Out is not a DZ exclusive. If you are looking for it, it will drop in the light zone. This is also a great place to farm for Contractor's Gloves as well, and the Chameleon, which you got four control points to farm for here, or if you're looking for a P416. Rifles at Space Administration HQ, Masks at Jefferson Plaza, and Backpacks at Southwest. This is a decent area right here. You can farm for the Merciless here, although the Hyenas aren't there. You can still farm there, and it will drop at some point. And if you're looking for Backpacks in Southwest, there is a control point here you can farm. Over in West Potomac Park, we have shotguns with Gila Guard at Tidal Basin Stronghold and skill attachments at Lincoln Memorial. This is always good for a shield build and Tidal Basin Stronghold drops a lot of loot. And there is a few control points here. Oh, there's the Warhound Convoy. Missed that. There's a few control points here, four of them. If you're looking for the Sweet Dreams, I would try that out. Badger Tough at DARPA Research Labs and Murakami Industries at the Pentagon. Alp Summit at Roosevelt Island Stronghold, 511 Tactical at the Potomac Event Center, Body Armor at Foggy Bottom, Circle of Concern at Constitutional Hall, Douglas and Harding in Downtown West, China Light at Big Headquarters, Aralda Holdings at West End, and Pistols at Federal Emergency Bunker. This would be a good place to farm for the Liberty, and although you only have one control point here, if you're really looking for that punch drunk mask and you don't want to go into the DZ, it's also a good spot. And this is always a good farming mission at bank headquarters if you need that explosives damage from China Light Industries because you can just kill rebound over and over and over again and the mission's probably about 10 minutes reset 10 minutes so you can get quite a bit of loot to drop here well anyway guys that's been the target of loot allocation for may 12 2020 this has been shadow gaming please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content 
Really appreciate it, guys. All right, Agent Shadow, signing off.